Hello and welcome to another episode of AITA in which we will be trying to figure out who's the bad guy in these Reddit stories. So we've got a lot of spicy drama today, lots of a-holes, lots of b-holes, that's a word now. AITA for how I, 37M, reacted to my son, 17M, coming out to me. I can already feel the emotion, but let's uh, calm down, let's try to read the story. Using my lurking account, it's been pointed out my title wording makes the post seem worse than what it is. I apologize for that, it wasn't my intention. So, I've always known my son had an interest in men. He was slow on the pickup of incognito mode, and from the searches he made, I figured he was at least bi-curious, if that's the proper term for it. It's always nice to uh, stalk your son's uh, search history, right? Not controlling at all, huh? But anyways, he was bi-curious since he hit puberty. Well, last year he started bringing a boy around, and it was obvious they were dating. To the point I figured that he knew I knew, and it wasn't a big deal to anyone. Well, apparently, I was wrong. After school yesterday, he and his boyfriend uh, came up to me and said there was something really important they needed to tell me. My son said that they were dating and had been for a year. Well, uh, I was surprised that he wasn't aware I knew and was a bit thrown off. My mouth moved faster than my brain. <laughs> And I said, well, that's pretty fucking gay. <laughs> okay, that's the worst thing that you can say to your gay son, dude. But maybe it's just his offensive sense of humor. Still, I don't know if you should be saying that to your kid. Now, I thought it was peak comedy, since it is, in fact, gay. Okay. However, I understand using the word gay in that way gives it a negative undertone, hence the mouth faster than brain comment. Now, my son and I are usually pretty edgy with our humor, okay, okay? This being fairly tame for the stuff we joke about. Uh, while probably not appropriate for the situation, it wasn't our norm for a conversation between us. However, he and his boyfriend were very, very upset and left. Okay, well, I guess the dad may have been a little confused since they usually have this edgy humor communication, right? I'm probably the asshole, but I thought I would check and see if y'all had some advice on what I can say to fix it. He currently won't respond to my texts or calls. Yeah, I would say you should say something like this. Uh, mm, uh, I actually have nothing against gay people. I just said this in the heat of the moment and I thought you would find it funny. Sorry. Uh, I love you or something like that. Cause it's not like he's some type of outspoken homophobe, you know, gay hater or something. He just spoke a little too quick and failed at the humor. Honestly, this is a pretty mild story. Uh, I believe they will uh, make up. But I'm not so sure about the next one. AITA for implying to my coworker that I police myself when my husband is away. I've been at this company for about two years now, and one of my coworkers, John, and I have become pretty good friends and get along well. We are both happily married and just friends, though we do catch up on life during work hours. I believe this is okay, they are colleagues, they work together, I believe in such an environment you can easily become friends with somebody of the other uh, gender, sex, whatever. My husband has been away on a business trip for two weeks now. John and I were chatting in the office this morning and I mentioned to him that I've been at my house alone for the past week and pretty bored without my husband. Okay, I can sense, you know, I can sense why somebody would misinterpret this. Not saying that's what she meant, but uh, yeah. He asked me what I do to pass time and that I must be a bit bent up with my husband gone for that long, okay? Looks like they uh, actually like each other or something, huh? I was surprised he said that, but I feel comfortable enough around him that I didn't bother me and I chalked it up uh, to playful banter. I jokingly told him that I know exactly how to please myself uh, when my husband is away. He got really awkward and uncomfortable and we've been distant since. 
I just checked my inbox and there was a meeting on my calendar from HR. I tried to message John but he's not responding and my manager came by my desk and told me that my behavior is ridiculous. And to not speak to John until I'm told otherwise. A-I-T-A. Okay, so there is an update here, so uh, I just got off my meeting with HR, I was able to convince everyone that it was just a misunderstanding. And they're moving John to a different team temporarily, and my manager apologized to me for being harsh with me earlier. I will not be speaking to or interacting with John going forward. Yeah, I don't really understand what's going on here. I would say she's not the asshole for this. But uh, maybe you and John should kind of talk about this, like what type of relationship you have. Are you just friends or are there some hidden feelings? Like, I don't know. I feel like you can't tell just by a, a Reddit post what's going on. AITA for telling my family how much my fiancé earns after years of them making fun of his job. My family is very well educated and full of professionals, including several doctors, surgeons, dentists, etc. I have a good career and make a good living. When I met my fiance, uh, he was cleaning toilets and uh, smelled like shit. I'm kidding. Uh, he was at my house to supervise a roofing crew the insurance company hired to replace my damaged roof. I instantly fell for him when he pulled up in his truck and couldn't keep my eyes off of him for the rest of the day as he gave orders to his men. When we started dating, he was vague about his job and just chalked it up to him being insecure about me having a better career. I didn't care about our income imbalance. Uh, when we got serious, we talked about our future plans and that was when he told me the full extent of his little construction company. I was shocked that his construction earnings is as much as my dad's surgeon salary. Gradually he took me around to the handful of construction lots and shopping centers he owns. Shopping centers? Uh, what's this guy doing actually? His rental income combined with his construction earnings is double that of my dad's. He said that few people uh, know about his finances and he expects me to keep that uh, to myself. My parents disapproved of him since the first time I brought him home. My dad coined... Uh, by the way, how old are you? Like, how old is she? She didn't specify uh, her or his age. Uh, I don't know why your parents would have the ability to disapprove of somebody, like if you really like the guy. Seems to me that the parents are perhaps the assholes here. But anyways, my dad coined the term tool boy and the rest of my family joined in whenever they talked behind my fiance's back. They don't call him dad to his face but instead make snide remarks. Once my mom said during dinner that they're thinking about hiring someone to mow the lawn and uh, then turn to my fiance and ask him what he charges. I always try to defend him and it's a constant battle. I don't think you need to defend him, I think you can just let it happen. Uh, they will probably stop with it once they realize that it's not bothering you or him. It's gotten worse since we're planning our wedding and the other day my nerves just broke. Yesterday parents were trying to get me into getting a prenuptial, then my dad said you have to protect your assets just in case Toolboy decides to go slumming. Yeah, I would say whatever happens next, I don't even care. Uh, the parents are the assholes and she's not the asshole. I lost it and yelled at my parents. During our shouting, I blurted out his earnings and that he makes more than both of them combined. Then I stormed out. I told my fiance what happened, but instead of supporting me, he got mad that I told his parents that. I argued that I was defending him, then we got into an argument horrible. My parents and family are mad at me for keeping secrets. My fiancé is mad at me for not keeping secrets. I'm stuck in the middle and don't know what to do. And on top of that, Reddit keeps saying she is the asshole. Are you guys crazy? Like, can't you see that she needs a little bit of support? Not trying to white knight here or something, but uh, I believe nobody is the asshole here uh, except the parents. So yes, she um, said what she wasn't supposed to say and she broke the promise she gave to the guy, but um, they kind of pushed her over the edge. So that's my opinion. 
So the fourth question for today goes something like this. Uh, AITA for overreacting after my wife lied about our baby's gender. This is a bit refreshing because Reddit actually voted this as everyone sucks. I, 32M, and my wife, 25F, are expecting our first child. I've reacted in ways I'm now questioning and need outside perspective. As opposed to inside perspective, there would be the voices in your head. Background. My childhood was a tumultuous one. Growing up, I always craved a strong male figure in my life. I never had that bond with my father and always envisioned having it with a son. Hmm. My wife was aware of this deep-rooted desire. During her first pregnancy appointments, I was on an essential business trip. These trips, though draining, are critical since I'm the only breadwinner trying to ensure a different life for my child than I had. Interesting uh, context. Let's see what's gonna happen. In absence, my wife and her adopted mother attended the checkups. Uh, upon my return, she excitedly told me we were having a boy. We invested emotionally and financially a blue nursery, boy-themed items, and naming him after my late grandfather. Are they planning to destroy this guy's psyche? Okay, what type of trolling is this? However, a chance remark from her mother disclosed we're having a girl. My wife admitted she knew from the beginning, but didn't tell me, thinking she was protecting my feelings. <laughs> that is hilarious. I was devastated, feeling the weight of past hurts and fresh betrayals. This guy is a bit of a poet, right? In my pain, I cleared out the nursery and in a moment I regret told her mother she wasn't welcome at upcoming family events, seeing her as part of the deceit. I acted out of deep-seated emotions and past traumas. I love my wife and regret my reactions, but I feel lost. AITA for how I responded. Okay, so this guy is self-aware. He knows that he acted out of past traumas and negative emotions. That stuff can get pretty deeply rooted in your behavior, so assuming he's honest and not some vulnerable narcissist, I don't actually blame the guy. I would say only the wife and her mom are assholes. If you know this means so much to him, do not lie, okay? This is like an actual psychological trigger. Not when some TikTok girl lies about having triggers, but actually doesn't have them. You know, uh, those are my opinions. As always, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And if you enjoyed this video, subscribe and click the bell button for more. See you in the next one. Peace out.